Hello everybody, this is the Retro Gamer back with some more Game Dev Tycoon. Let's jump right in. Now let's review let's review a bit for those that haven't seen the last episode. Our game history. We released one we've done Lion King, which got a 625, Battlefield 2, which was a five four four a four two five. Left for Dead Battlefield 1, which got a six. Aladdin. And that was our very first game, actually. So, we're going to do a new game since we don't... I don't think we have an engine to do our... Oh, I want to actually... Actually, I'm going to do this, and then we'll show you all the engines, engine thing once this other one gets done. See, Roller Coaster Tycoon is what we're going to do here. Because I somehow, weirdly enough, have a really good time with the Roller Coaster... With the Tycoon games. There's... I've already gotten the achievement, but there's an achievement where if you actually create Game Dev Tycoon here within the game, you actually get the achievement for it. <laughs> it's kind of a funny achievement, really. We're going to go uh, G64, and I'm going to go with PC as well. Genre of casual and simulation. We're going to focus more on the casual, though. Because I re actually do remember the stuff for this one, but we're going to go ahead and bring that great combos list up anyway just to help me out. While that's coming up, we'll go ahead and get started here. Zero, hundred, zero is correct. I'm going to go ahead and announce it. Now remember, I'm playing with mods that you can get off the Steam Workshop. And I've actually turned the music off because it's the same repeating thing again and again. But I guess I can turn it back on if enough people want. If you guys actually like hearing that. I mean, I can always edit this later to where the music's gone. It's still loading, apparently. Now, I'm probably going to botch this last one because I'm almost sure it's the other way around. It's 8100, but let's see. Just refresh that. Let's go ahead with it. I think I have it right. And if I don't, so be it. We'll, we'll fix it in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 if we decide to do it. Let's go ahead and finish it. We, we get, we've achieved a perfect balance here, which is kind of what you want. <clears throat> and my advice actually is to start by doing uh, PC and G64 games. Now let's see. How did we do for having to guess? Six? Five? Five again? Now, just because you play with the sliders and get the perf and get the matching numbers from what I posted last time, um, that doesn't mean you're always going to get a perfect ten. It's like incredibly random. But we st we're going to stay at this level until we hit a million dollars, then the game moves us into an office. Now let's get that one big. Yeah, we need. Let's get that one big game going. But first, I want to do a custom engine. Which we have to research it first.
Okay, we have researched our custom game engine. And all this stuff for it <coughs> now becomes available. You get the custom game engine after you make your first good game. Which I believe five and above constitutes a good game, four and above four and below doesn't, but I'm not real certain on it. Let's do the custom engine though. First, uh, I'd like to um, research some stuff for it. We can't do 3D yet as that hasn't been invented yet. 8-bit <laughs> gray. Let's see. We need to do another game just so we can... Just so we can get the research points. That's how you do this. We're in a sports game. And it's going to be a sim. Actually, let's make a casual sports game. There's enough sims out there. Let's just do this. We're just going to do PC and G64 as usual. And it's going to be called NHL Hockey. Because of course it is. So, zero, 100, zero. Now it's actually loaded, so we can actually see what we're doing wrong. Zero, 180, we had it right. <clears throat> that proves that even if you have the settings correct, it's not always going to come out to a perfect 10. Okay, so anyway, there's that news. Now let's see what this does, NHL Hockey. I gotta wait for the bug count to go down. And we hit finish. <coughs> Double new record, that's good. Let's see what we get out of this one. Seven. Another seven. Seven again. Come on, stop on that ten. We'll take the eight. This one actually probably might push us close to the million dollar range, which we're gonna, we'll, we'll stop after we hit the next level, I believe. Depending on where we are in the recording here. Okay. Let's see where this goes. 13th ranked, yeah, this may do it. Depending on how soon we hit the million dollars, we may not cut off soon. NHL is not going to do it. 
We got to get on the bigger consoles here, folks. Let's get on with a better get a new game. Something I like to call Super Mario Brothers. It's got to be listed here if Sonic is. Yeah, I know it is. I've actually seen it on here, but I can't seem to find it right now. If you guys see it, let me know in the comments. May have to research it. Let's find out. Could be under platformer. But let, let's go ahead and see if researching it helps. Uh huh. Sonic. Let's see, where are you, Mario? Nope. Aha, there it is, next to Walking Dead. That's an odd place for it. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Where are you, Walking Dead? There we have Mario Brothers. An action game. Actually, let's do another casual. Hopefully this doesn't move mess us up. And this is actually going to go to the test because it doesn't fit on PC very well, I don't think. I think it's irony that my guy looks like Shigeru Miyamoto, though. I usually like to stick to one type of game and just use different topics. Even if you're using the same style, different topics helps. I will warn you that the ratings, the reviews in this game are completely random. It can go from one, all ones to one game to all tens for the next. It's random. You can't really tell where you're going to land. Now, I've never had all ones, but I've I've gotten darn I've gotten damn close to it though. Now let's release this and see what we get out of it. Super Mario Brothers. Come on, it's a classic. Give me some good ratings for it. I botched Super. Mario Brothers. Well, not quite. Those two fives were probably... Eh. Now, let's see. How much money is this going to rake us in? Rake in for us? Eh. It's kind of disappointing, actually. Let's see how the casual hunting titles do. I'm going to do Duck Hunt next. I should know. That's a lie. I'm doing Legend of Zelda. <clears throat> which I consider to be an RPG, so we use... Actually, the first one didn't have RPG elements, so we're going to do a fantasy-style game here. Where's fantasy? It'll be a fantasy RPG if I could find the bloody thing for it. No, not Final Fantasy, just Fantasy. Fuck me. I may have to use Dungeon because that's what mostly it is. If I can even find that. Aha, there it is. Dungeon. Genre, 
Uh, it's kind of an act, an adventure game. And that's also going to the test. It's going to be Zelda. Like I said before. A dungeon adventure called Legend of Zelda hits the Nintendo. Alright, let's go back and use the notes for your adventure. 001. I goofed this up in my playthrough last time. Or in my one of my other saves, I actually goofed this up pretty harsh, so. And then you reverse. <clears throat> the second step is 100 zero, zero. Personally, I think adventure and casual are probably the easiest to make. Because there's no fine tuning of the sliders or anything, it's just set 180 zero, okay. There's a little fine tuning in adventure, but it's around the same numbers for both. They're easier to remember, it's just you gotta toy with them a little bit to get the rate to get the desired ratings you need. Which is why I have those little numbers on it. That's actually a mod called the Pers Percentate Percentigator or something like that. I can't remember the exact name. I'll look it up. I will look it up in the mod section here in a minute to see what it's actually called. But now let's release Legend of Zelda. Bing! I expected the 16 to be a new record, yeah. And your ratings also reflect, um,. The ratings are also going to reflect, review scores also re reflect how much of the game sells. Obviously, there's a lot of nuances in this game that make it really quirky to play, but also really addictive. Come on, give me at least one eight. Perfect 10 Studios is having a hard time recently. Like I said, focus on just what games what games you produce the best. Let's take a look at the game history real quick. I think we've done best with the casuals. Like NHL Hockey says hello. I think that's our highest score yet. Some more sport casual games. Yeah. Let's try that out. Try the theory out here. This time I'm going to send one over to the test. Actually, no, we're going to stick to PC because that's where it works. No more for the G64. If this works, I'll send a version of this over to the test. Well, let's go ahead and send it to the test anyway, so I don't have to remake the whole thing. PC and test get Madden. Weirdly enough, in one of my practice saves, Tamagotchi actually did pretty well in the game lane. We may experiment with that a bit later. In later episodes to see what we get off of it this time. But this is as random as uh, Total Extreme Warfare is. Or TEW for those that play it. What I mean is... Well, like yesterday I got a pop-up in one of my saves where somebody had actually lit... A switch cartridge. Didn't call it the switch, it called it something similar, but you get what I mean. Whereas in TEW, I've had people impaled by flagpoles. I'm not kidding. And we will play some more TEW on this channel at some point. 
I just don't know when I can get back to it. Sounds like they're painting Matari or Atari to be the heels of this thing. Now let's see. Are the bad guys? Say hello to the bad guy. I like to save up my research points so I can make a really good engine for my games. That actually has a lot of effect on the way your games are portrayed as well. Or the way they're rated or reviewed. Let's see how this one will do. Will Madden finally get our first perfect 10? Maybe. Let's see. 9 is the highest we've gotten so far. But it's a 10. Yes. A masterpiece. The first Madden game that I've done. They, they're begging for more. And they're going to get it next year. Not much better you can do than that. I have a feeling Madden's going to get us... Out of this office into the next one. And I was right. So, I'm going to show you guys this new office real quick. And then we're going to we're gonna say adios for the day. <clears throat> we'll see how, how just how well Madden does in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you all in the next episode.